friends welcome to our channel our topic is disjoint sets under disjoint sets we already discussed simple union and simple find operation again to improve the efficiency of the algorithm we are moving into weighted union and collapsing find first one is weighted union so what do you mean by union combining set of elements together that is union here weighted union is the union operation is based on some weights that means which tree is to be connected which tree decided based on some weight assume s1 is a set s2 is another set s1 and s2 are two disjoint sets the number of nodes in s1 less than s2 the number of nodes in s1 less than the number of nodes in s2 then what happens s2 is the parent tree su becomes the parent and s1 becomes the subtree s2 becomes the subtree else s1 is the parent s2 is the subtree in the simple sense if you have two trees which tree is connected to which one that is based on the number of nodes that tree which has highest number of nodes the small tree that is the tree with the lowest number of nodes are connected to the tree with the highest number of nodes this is the weighted union in this weighted union we are using so actually in the normal union also we are maintaining p of i value what is i value i in the sense a node p of i is equal to the parent node for root node p of i is equal to minus 1 in case of simple union p of i is equal to minus 1 but in case of weighted union p of i is equal to minus count of i that means the further root node how many number of values are assigned the root node value is equal to simply minus of the total number of nodes the total number of nodes you have to remember this one p of i is equal to minus count of i suppose consider one example 1 2 3 4 5 6 this is assume this is one tree five six this is another tree now represents i values as 1 2 3 4 5 six here the parent values are the parent values are one is the root node so for the root node what is the count simply minus count of i count of i in the sense for the value i the number of nodes are calculated simply how many number of nodes minus of 4 for node 2 the parent node is 1 node 3 the parent node is 1 node 4 the parent node suppose always note it suppose we are writing like this for node 4 the parent is 3 and coming to this 5 here 5 is the root node this is another set suppose this is set s2 the parent node is 5 what is the parent node minus the number of nodes that is minus 2 and then for 6 the parent node is 5 this is set s1 this is set s2 now what is your aim you have to perform the union operation between the two sets simple logic is here the number of nodes are 4 here the number of nodes are 2 what is the procedure simply small number of nodes are connected to large number so make a tree like this that is i will write here for easy like this 5 and 6 5 And six, so five and six, the root node becomes the one. Now update the value for one. For one, how many number of nodes? One, two, three, four, five. 
including that one. So the count is six. For node two, value is one. Node three, parent is one. Node four, parent is three. For node five, the parent is updated. Parent is one. For node six, parent. This is the final operation after performing weighted union. Now the same thing is represented in algorithmic format. See this one. What we have discussed, I am explaining the same thing. Algorithm weighted union of i comma j. What do you mean by this one? I is one subs one set, j n another set. So i comma j are two disjoint sets. i comma j are two disjoint sets. What is the first step in the algorithm? You have to fix the parent values for the root node. So p of i is equal to simply minus count of i. P of j is equal to minus count of j. So parent of i and parent of j. Here I am calculating for total union. Whenever you are matching, you have to use the total union. So sum is equal to the count of this one plus this two. Why? Because in the last step we are updating the parent of one is minus four into minus six. That is sum. Now what is my first condition? If p of i value is greater than p of j value, suppose consider this example one, two, three, four, five, six. Initially here the value is minus four. For two, parent is one. For three, for one, minus two and five. This is the previous example. This is set to one. This is set to. If p of i value, what is p of i value? Minus four is greater than minus two. Condition is true or false? The condition is false. The condition is false in the sense i has fewer number of nodes. Why? Because it is in the negative direction. If the condition is false, I has fewer number. If the condition is true, I has greater number. Suppose if p of i greater than p of j, in this case, if the if assume p of i value is minus four is greater than minus two, always the condition is false. Why? Because it is in the negative number. In this case, the parent of i is equal to j. The parent of i is equal to j and p of j becomes sum exactly else case here i am writing else case what is else case the condition is false if the condition is false in the sense the parent of j is equal to i the parent of j is equal to i that is the reason the parent of i becomes 1 the parent of i becomes 1 and now p of i is equal to Sum and then p of i is equal to sum. This is the algorithm for weighted union. Whatever the tree, which tree has the more number of nodes, simply the small tree is connected to the tree which contains highest number of nodes. This is the weighted union. Now we are moving into collapsing find. First of all, what is the reason for this collapsing? What is the reason for this collapsing? For example, assume a tree like this, three, four, five, like this. If you want to perform find of five, so you know the find operation. What the find operation? It searches for an element. If the element is available, it returns the set representative. What do you mean by set representative? The root of the tree. For find of five, to find. Set represented to how many number of moves are required? Five to four, one move. Four to three, one move. Three to one, three moves. A total of three moves are required. A total of three moves are required. Okay, right. Suppose if my operation is to perform find of five for twenty times. My intention is to perform same find operation twenty times. Then. Then to find the set represented to for first time you have to perform three moves for the second time also you have to perform three moves for the third time also you have to perform more moves.
total 20 steps are required to find set representative. That means the thing is, once I first the first two operation, I perform find operation. But in the remaining 19 times also, you have to do the same procedure. What do you mean by this collapsing? Once you perform a find operation, in the next two time onwards, no need to traverse the entire path. So, now I will explain what happens. For example, assume J is a node. J is a node in the path. J is a node in the path from I to root node. Assume I is one root, one node. This is some root node. We are moving from node I to root node. During this path, assume J is a node. Either this one or this one. J is a node. And at the same time, what are the different conditions? If the parent of I is not equal to root, what is meaning of this one? That means between I and root node, there exists one more node. You got it? If parent of I is equal to root in the sense, 1 to 5, we have a direct connection. If parent of I is not equal to root in the sense, between I and root, there exists some node. Assume that node is the J node. In that case, we can set the parent of J is equal to root. We are setting the parent of J is the root node. That means, for the first to find operation, we are performing this one. From the other next to find operations, no need to perform. Only for first to find three moves, and only three moves are required for identifying the set representative. That means instead of 60 comparisons, it reduces the number of comparisons by performing collapsing. Collapsing in the sense, 4 is marked as this one, 5 is marked as this one. You got it? The tree is collapsed like this. So, when your, you set this value, that means directly the J is connected to root. J is connected to root. Now I will explain the algorithm. Then you have a clear idea. Algorithm. Find of I. In the sense collapsing find of I. Algorithm collapsing find of I. So in this I is the node that we want to search. Initially assume R is equal to I. Any node. Assume R is equal to I. In the simple find operation, what is the logic? While P of, while P of the particular node root value is greater than 0 or greater than 0, simply R is equal to P of R. That means we are moving to some position where we are finding set representative. This logic is the simple find operation. This logic is the simple find operation. Now here, while after finding the set representative, you have to check your required element is not equal to R in the sense what is R? After performing this operation, R becomes the root node, right? R becomes the root node. That is, R is the set representative. In the same sense, if your searching element is not equal to the set representative, then what you have to do? You have to set some other element as set representative. You have to find some other element as set representative. Suppose S colon S is equal to P of I. S is equal to P of I. That means the parent of I. The I is not equal to root. That means I has some parent. Assume the parent of I is equal to S. The parent of I is equal to S. That is assigned to S. And the parent of I becomes R. That means J node is set. This is initially I node. The parent of I is S. And the parent of I becomes R. And finally I is equal to S. Finally, I is equal to S. So, 
whenever the searching element is not equal to the root element, searching element is not equal to root element, we are assigning this statement. And finally, return. Always we have to return the set representative. Return the set representative. This is the weighted union and collapsing find operation. Thank you.